Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and today we are solving Philip Newman's gas called a downward spiral. This was originally posted on June 20th, 2024. And um, this is a German Whisper's consecutive pair Sudoku. So what does that mean? So we have standard Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And then we also have German Whispers, which are these green lines in the grid. And along each green line, according to German Whispers rules, digits that are next to each other, next to each other on the same line have to have a difference of five or more. So for instance, we could put a two here because that is a difference of five, but we can't put a three here because the difference between three and seven is only four. And then finally, there are some white dots in the grid. Digits that are separated by a white dot have to be consecutive. So one of them is one bigger than the other. <coughs> Not all possible dots in the grid are necessarily given. So let's have a look at this puzzle. So seven can only be next to two possible numbers in a German Whispers puzzle. Those are the only two digits that are five or more away from seven. And along a German Whispers line, the digits will always alternate between higher than five and lower than five. So we can pencil in, these have to be high digits, and they can't be six because if we placed a six here, for instance, it would have to have a one on both sides of it, since the only digit that six can go next to on a German whisper line is one. So now we need to place low digits on the ends. Those are going to be three and four. Now this can't be four because four can only ever be next to one number. It can only ever be next to nine. And so if this was four, both of these cells would contain nines, which is not valid. So that's a three, that's a four. Now the question is, does this go 4, 3, 2, or does it go 4, 5, 6? Well, if this were to go 4, 3, 2, this would be a low digit, this would also be a low digit, and this would be a low digit, and then in addition to that, we'd be alternating along this German Whispers line, low, high, low, high, low, high, so these would also have to be low digits, which is a problem because at that point we'd have five low digits in the same column. So that's not the situation that we're in, that goes 4, 5, 6. And then we can also, because 8 can't go next to 4, that's going to be a 9, that will be an 8. 6 can only ever go next to 1. This digit has to be high, and so does this one. And then these digits have to be low. They can't be 1 because there's a 1 in the column. They can't be 4 because there's a 4 right here. And then finally, this is 7, 8, or 9, and that cannot be 9. Whatever digit this is has to be able to be adjacent to both 2 and 3, and it also can't be a 9. 7 can't be adjacent to 3, therefore this digit is an 8, this is a 7, and this is a 9. So in the rest of this area, 1 can't go in those cells, so it goes here. And then these are going to be 3, 6, and 8. 3 and 8 already appear in this row, so that is a 6. Here we have 1, 5, 6, and 7. And now this has to be 5 away from 2 or 3, so it's not 1, 5, or 6. That's a 7, which is 5 away from 2. So that makes this cell a 3. Th these can't be 6 because there's a 6 in the column, so our 6 is going to go right there. Okay, 7 is next to 6 and 8, and we don't know which one of those we're looking at yet. So let's move over here. 3 is next to 8 and can only be next to 9 as its other digit, so now we're still alternating low, high, low, high, low, high, so I'm going to pencil in digits for the rest of the low digits. And for the rest of the high digits, but we can make some eliminations right away because like I said earlier, 6 can only ever be next to one number, it can only be next to one, so 6 can't go there. Similarly, 4s can't go there because 4 can't be between two different numbers. Um, this is actually potentially a 6, even though it looks like maybe it shouldn't be able to be a 6. The reason that works is because these two digits don't actually see each other by Sudoku rules, so they could in theory both be 1s. So that would actually be fine, but this can't be a 6. This could also be a 6. We have this 3-4 pair here, we can eliminate 3 and 4. Now that that 1-2 pair is there, we can make this a 5 and make this a 1. These can't be 8s because there is an 8 in the row. This can't be 6, that can't be 6, just because of the 6 not being able to appear between two digits. Similarly, these can't be 4s. This cannot be a 7, because there's a 7 in the column right now. And these can't be 1, 2, 3, or 5, so they're 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. One of them is going to be a 4, so I'm corner marking that now. These digits include a 2, a 4, a 5, and a 7. 
Okay, um, actually, let's go down here first. So these can't be threes, so that's actually a one, two pair. And that means one of these is a three, and that is not a three. So now this one, two pair makes this a three, so that can't be a seven. So we can eliminate eight and nine from that cell, and three from that cell. Okay. This is going to be a low digit because it is next to a high digit. So that's one, two, three, or four. Can't be four between two digits. Can't be three. So that is a one, two pair here. But because of the two here, that's going to be a one. That's going to be a two. The two eliminates six from that cell. So six now goes here, which has to be between two ones. This two that I just placed resolves these ones and twos. I can eliminate eight and nine here because I have an eight, nine pair in the region at this point. The seven eliminates seven from this cell. Okay, so now what do I need here? I need a high digit here, which can only be six or eight because that's all that's left in the region, but it can't be six. <coughs> Excuse me, because six is not able to be between two other digits. So that's gonna be an eight, that'll be a six. And these will be four and five to finish the region. This can only be a three because one and two are already used, okay? These will be four and five. We can eliminate nine here. The only position to put eight in in column two is right here because of the eights that appear there and there. And these digits have to be four, five, and seven. That's not a seven, so this is my seven. And these are going to be two and nine. Okay. So, what next? We need 4, 6, 8, and 9. That's not 6 or 9. That's not 8. These digits are 2, 4, 5, and 7. This can't be a 7, and neither can this. In fact, we know exactly what that is. That's a 5, which resolves everything else. Right on. These are now going to be uh, 6, 9, and 5. And these will be 3, 4, and 8. That's not a 3. Okay. So, where do we go from here? There's a 5 in this column, which resolves this 4, 5. Nah, that 4 also resolves it. The 2 resolves this 2, 9 pair. These are going to be 3, 6, and 9. Okay. And these are going to be 4, 5, and 7. The 9 that we just placed tells us which way around these go. And then these will be 4, 5, and 7 as well to finish the row. 4 and 7 make this a 5, so I can eliminate 5 here and here. These digits in the column can only be 2, 3, and 8, and the only position of those that 2 can go in is this one. And then to finish the region here, we'll have 3, 4, 7, and 8. That can't be an 8. Okay. We can't place a 6 there. I have a 9 in the column already, so that is taken care of. And that can't be a 9, because this 9 I just placed down here. So it'll be a 9 and a 6, a 7 and a 4 and a 6. That's a 5 and a 4. And I think we are just about to finish up using classic Sudoku methods. Okay, so that will now be a 4 and a 3. And I think we are just about done. That 3 gives us an 8 here. And this is not actually a deadly pattern because there's actually a 4 in the row already. And that is how you solve A Downward Spiral by Philip Newman. The link to solve it yourself is in the description below this video. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one.